Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you all had a good day. I got a knife I just got in the mail just now from uh, the Knife Connection. Awesome guy. Dale's really good. Fast, quick shipping. Free over 40 bucks, I think. As you can see, this is a zero tolerance knife. I got the old 560, I think, back in the day, and just it's nice, but it was just too big for me. And I don't know. And now that I've gone on the customs, obviously, I've been carrying this uh, Ripple 2 for a while now. It's awesome. Use it at work, sharpens up great. Really good edge. I use it for opening boxes and stuff and breaking down cardboard and so you can see it's still very, very sharp. There you go. Um, it's pretty excited to get this, I guess. Everyone else has um, had a good experience with it. So uh, most of my customs are up in the air. I got a couple coming in a... Um, Surprise with my uh, small surge from Brad. He's going to do some stuff to it or doing kind of a refurbishing or a couple little things that I requested. So we'll see what that looks like. I know he had a couple arcs that are out. I think uh, BK Dunn has one and um, a couple other guys. But I think I'm probably the only guy that has a small surge right now. And I believe he's discontinuing those. So that's kind of cool, especially to have him do couple little things that I requested so we'll see I'll update you if you care at all so there we go here's my new uh, ZT you can probably guess what it's gonna be <clears throat> again I'm Mr. Shaky with my videos so I have to get a stupid little tripod at Best Buy I'll get one and change it to white background or whatever Here's their uh, booklet, information for knife noobs, okay, I love seeing a guy open up a uh, bubble wrap here, so let's see, first impressions here. Very nice, very nice and sturdy. Definitely has heft to it, like everybody said. Here's the um, black hardware. Looks pretty centered out of the gate. Um, I'm gonna send mine to Alexander Dietz, or Alex as I call him, to get the hardware polish and hopefully some type of, type of new clip or maybe he'll make this one kind of stone wash and look cool. Take off the ZT logo so it looks a little more sterile. Um, not really any grip, it's very smooth, but it's nice. These milled grooves kind of help. So let's see, I'll give it a flip. Oh, very nice. Very smooth, KVT. Seems like a pretty early lockup. It has that, um, sorry about that. Steel lock bar insert, I know. Can't get a really good view of it. Feels really good in hand. I have, like I said, medium and small hands, so um, pretty good for me to just compare it to the Ripple 2, which is smaller. So it's definitely a beefy knife, but not too beefy, like the 0560 or 561. I'm not sure how the weight compares to the 555. Um, very, very nice stone wash. You can almost see my reflection, which is kind of cool. Rex for design, L Max. See what number I got here. Nice serial number 320, pretty cool. Um, I know some guys have had problems with the lock out the bat and the uh, detent also. Well, it closes well. Let's see again. This fires out. That's my press kind of hard, but just checking the detent. Let's see how we. Very nice. Nice click. Let's hold it upright. I'll just kind of do a. Very nice. Very smooth. A little bit of stick there, but that's probably my fault.
I'm pretty impressed so far. It definitely flips well, like a custom. Um, just kind of first impressions here, I'll let you know after I've used it for a while, but so far I like it a lot. Put it in my pocket right away. I got a pretty good deal on it from that company. Very smooth, but even though I was with a lack of jimping, you know, with this little guard here, choil, semi-choil, whatever you want to call it, it, it definitely, um, I don't think you'll lose it at all. So I think it's a big winner for Kershaw on zero tolerance. I would suggest getting one if you can. You can always return and sell them, but um, I like it a lot. Uh, and uh, have a good day, and I'll see you guys soon. Also, I'm on Instagram. I'm sure you are aware of that. Bye.